respect for Gordon. The engines of the Sodor Railway were always busy. Thomas puffed to the beaches with happy vacationers. And Gordon proudly pulled the express. Gordon thought he was the strongest, fastest, and cleanest engine on the whole of the railway. But one thing bothered him. His firebox rattled as it cooled down at night. Gordon knew his rattle stopped the other engines from getting to sleep. That night, Gordon's firebox went click, clunk, click, clunk. Thomas and Percy started to chuckle. Rattler Gordon's keeping us all awake, peeped Percy. The only engines keeping other engines awake, huffed Gordon crossly, are little engines with very bad manners. But secretly, he felt rather embarrassed. In the morning, Percy teased Gordon again. Rattlebox is awake at last, he puffed out loud. Gordon ignored Percy. He did not like being called names. I'm the strongest and the best, he told himself. Strongest and best, strongest and best, cleanest and fastest and pull the express. He wished the other engines would remember that. Later, Gordon pulled into Knapford Station. Oh, look, laughed Emily. Rattler Gordon's here. He's pulling the Click Clunk Express. This made Gordon very cross indeed, especially because Diesel overheard. I hope your Click Clunk gets better soon, oil Diesel. <laughs> See you later, Rattler. Gordon was very cross indeed. He decided it was time the other engines learnt to treat him properly. So later, at the water tank, he pulled up ahead of James. <gasps> James was surprised. At Knapford, Percy had brought Gordon's coaches into number one platform. Off you go now, Percy, said Gordon. Number one is my platform. Little engines shouldn't hang around. You're a boastful, bossy, big blue boiler, Percy muttered to himself crossly. Later, Gordon told his friends to give a polite toot-toot whenever they saw him. But why? asked Thomas. He was very puzzled. Because, huffed Gordon grandly, I'm the strongest and the best. And he steamed away. You can toot at him if you like, wished Emily, but I'm not going to. Gordon steamed across the island. He felt very pleased with himself. He was sure the other engines would forget his clunk click and treat him properly now. He saw Emily coming. He listened for her toot toot. But Emily didn't toot at all. This made Gordon very cross. He was so cross that he didn't see the signal telling him to stop. And he didn't see the goods train ahead until it was too late. Luckily, no one was hurt. But Gordon came off the rails and he was covered in gooey red jelly. Oh! As Gordon waited to be put back on the rails, Percy arrived. Hello, Gordon, peeped Percy. I see you're not the cleanest engine anymore. Then James puffed up. I don't think you'll be pulling the express for a while, Gordon, joked James. Finally, Thomas arrived. Gordon's a mess, Gordon's a mess. He's the largest and jelliest, puffed Thomas cheekily. At last, Gordon was back on the rails. He felt very foolish indeed. Edward pushed him to the fitter's yard. 
Gordon had to stay at the fitter's yard for a long time. It was hard to get the jelly out of his engine. Emily and Henry took in turns to pull the express for him. One evening at Tidmouth Sheds, Henry huffed. It's hard work pulling the express. Yes, agreed Emily. Gordon must be very strong to pull the express so fast. I miss Gordon, peeped Percy. I miss having his rattle to go to sleep by. Gordon knew the other engines were pulling the express for him. Thank goodness for Emily and Henry, he thought. I'm sure they're doing a very good job. Finally, Gordon was as good as new. The fitters had even managed to fix the rattle in his firebox. That evening, Gordon had something to say. Is it about being fastest and the best, teased James? Not at all, puffed Gordon. I know my rattle kept you awake at night, and I'm sorry. And I was also silly about the toot toots. I realize now that engines toot toot other engines because they work hard and deserve it, not because they ask for it. But we think you do deserve it, Gordon, said Thomas, because you work hard and you are a really useful engine. All the other engines agreed. Now all the engines greet each other with a cheerful toot toot. For all the hard work they do on Sir Topham Hatt's railway.